Welcome to uh, my show. I am Jeff Sheen, and this is Jeff Sheen's Questions with his co-host, Tim McLaughlin. What up, what up? How is everyone? There you go. Say hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Good job. All right. And today we have our first guest. Wow. Very first. first guest. Yes. Okay. You're starting off. We have a list of questions for you. Oh, and you wrote them? I wrote these questions. This is our oh. first guest, Jeffrey Asmus. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great. That's the first I question. Know. <laughs> <laughs> first question in pod history. Mm-hmm. Really good. Well done. Yeah, yeah. You the have first a good question. delivery. You have a good rapport. Mm-hmm. This Regu- is great. Regular Larry Queen over here. Who's, l- who's Larry Queen? He's saying Larry you're... King. Oh, oh gay you're... version. Gay. Oh, my Larry God. King. Save the roast. And my, I was more more saying you weren't as good because women aren't as good as men. Oh, That's okay. really what the, I wasn't doing the gay thing. It was sexist, not homophobic. That's I good. To be clear. Thank you. Anyways, Jeffrey, how are you? Tell tell the listeners how you are. I'm doing good. I got a little nice espresso. Okay. I've had an espresso in my whole life, I don't think, and I kind of I kind of like it. Yeah. It's nice. I don't know what it is. A little flavor country for your poor hillbilly mm. mouth. Oh, and I'm not. You're from hillbilly country. I'm not a hillbilly. Jeff, this podcast is about you. You're our guest. <laughs> I can't bring. I can't throw it back at you. Please, no, not at all. No, also, don't throw can it you, back. Don't throw it. Tell the listeners. Uh, tell all your credits, please. <laughs> no, I'm not yeah, going to do that. Tell us all your credits. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> tell us I was like... shared by Patriot Mama 45 the other day. That was a big bump for me. Wait, who is that? Some. Big Patriot account. They misunderstood a few jokes I posted, and I've gone big in right wing Instagram recently. Are they mad at you? No, they're happy. They, oh. they cut out the parts where I made fun of them and just posted the anti. <laughs> they posted the own in the libs portion. And I the, like that. This guy called Funny Republican reposted me. That's and cool. They're all like, "This is what comedy's all about." Dang. Whether they'll like me when they come to a show remains to be seen. But, you're gonna start. Uh, you start making some money off these people. I, the right's what? got the money. Money's money. Yeah, mm-hmm. they do. That's true. I'll take it. It don't matter. It don't matter if you're red or blue. I take green. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> baby. You. I like that. That's Money's on the right. What's his face? Just got fifty million? No, Steven Crowder turned down fifty million in a very hypocritical move, according to the right and the left. It well, is, I don't I he's like a right wing guy. That's all yeah, I Yeah, the about Daily him. Wire offered him fifty million dollars and he turned it down because he was like uh, they're going to own my shit, and if I get demonetized, I don't get any of the money. And it's like, Eddie gets like like 25% less or something. It's like, yeah, man, that's like, if they don't get money, you don't get money. You know how capitalism works. You preach it on yeah, your show. Yeah, that's your whole thing. Yeah. yeah, right. 50 million? is What's his, is he anti-vax, anti-everything? He's just like hardcore right wing. He's the guy, he's the... Uh, trans people aren't real. Change my mind, guy. You know, oh, jeez, that's yeah, an internet good. meme. Trans people aren't real, yeah, or whatever. Be, yeah, basically, the, yeah, that trans, Matt Walsh type stuff. Yeah, transgenderism is a mental dis- oh, disease. Oh, that mental. Ooh, those people are evil. Yeah, he's one of those guys. But those yeah. people are your fans, so yeah, don't speak I, ill of them. I, I try not to. Thank you. Come to a show. Come to a show. Jeff, listen to this. Looking pod. through his Rolodex of I'm questions. Looking over at my there. questions here. Don't peek. Come, I'm not. I can't. Read Read your handwriting. Je- I was right. about to say, Jeff's handwriting is it's illegible. It's inscrutable. Yes, I can't, I can't, know, can't know write what well. What you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> can't write some... well. I mean, even if you could read it, fucking three quarters of those words are misspelled. I guarantee. <laughs> I also it. don't it's know that how to spell. Dirt road English <laughs> over there. Quiet, you. <laughs> what town are you from, Jeff? I'm All turning right. the tables. No, right. no questions for me. Come on. Let's Give me start a- it off, Asmus. This is for your fans. They all want to know more about I'd you. I'd love to tell them. They're dying uh, to get to know some of your uh-huh. thoughts here. Let's start off with a softball here. Can I answer the questions, too? Yeah, yeah let you can, Tim have a Yeah, go Tim can too. chime in. Come on. All right, nice. Okay. I like, but, to, uh, I like being involved. <laughs> yeah, you're involved. But this is mainly about Asmus. We want to hear his thoughts. I I d- okay, I want to hear Tim's thoughts. Jeff, though. should we tell people that this is an iteration off our old show, The Worldly Show? This used to be a segment? Yes, and now it's a full-on episode. It's a full-on episode. <laughs> yeah, so you've we're blown it up. You've given Sheen all of the control, mm-hmm. what he, everyone wanted. Yep, this is what I've always wanted. It's for Jeff. It's, it's Jeff being Jeff. Yeah, I, 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 think oh. it's, I think the people deserve it. The thing the world needs is not Jeff Sheen being himself. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, the last now, thing we need. Jeffrey, can okay. I ask you my, the first question here? I yeah, throw usually a question. have a pen with me, but I don't here. Uh-huh. Do you need so, a pen, Jeff? Why yeah. do you need a pen? I like 
like to take notes, you know. You're going to take notes on yeah. what I say? For what purpose? Because I'm building a little psychological profile Like, later you. you're going to look at them? Thank you. You're yes, going to look at your yes. little notebook in the depths of the night? There and we just, go. Like, talk about me? Softball here, Jeffrey. Okay, throw me a People softball. want to know who... Is your favorite president not alive today? Who is your favorite president? Oh, FDR. FDR. Easy. Tell us why. The only socialist president, and he did a damn good job. Oh, God. Lefty, the most left president we've ever had. And, oh, those were the best years, interestingly enough. What was the, what was the best thing he did, in your opinion? Uh, Social Security, pretty good. Medicare, pretty good. Really? Yeah, yeah. I like Just those. all the left stuff you can get. You don't like Social Security? Security, it's going to be good when you don't get booked on those cruise ships anymore. Please. You're going to need. Oh, they'll be security. booking his fucking wrinkly ass. <laughs> you know, Jeff's- I'm an Andrew Jackson man. Oh, <laughs> one of the worst presidents. <laughs> Jeff's old ass will be hologramming me, old as hell, on a cruise ship, being like, "I'm bored. <laughs> These young kids don't get it. These robots just don't get me anymore." So you really like FDR? FDR is good. What about JFK? Could have been good. Got shot down in his prime. But really? I think he could have mm-hmm. been. Robert Kennedy was the real loss. Uh, real heads know. But yeah. Why is that? Bobby Kennedy was better than his brother. He was going to be the next president. He Why was shot. he better? He was just a little more liberal guy, a little smarter. He wasn't as addicted to drugs and philandering with women. That's oh. the coolest shit, though. That was cool, but it was bad for his uh, presidency. I like when it's it, crazy. He was fucking Marilyn Monroe while he was president. See, that's, that's the thing. crazy. I, I like when a president fucks a hot lady. Not when a president fucks like kind of a busted chick like <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. No, she was hot. Come she on, was, yeah. I mean, in the Monica 90s. was hot. It was nineties hot. It was different. The yeah. hair wasn't. He wouldn't man, fly know. today, but... Tim's a know. Stormy Daniels, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like when our president's bang fucking a Stormy Daniels-esque women. Trump absolutely was cheating while president. I like that. I of respect course. that. Okay, I so you like that. that. That's like why you that. like JFK. I like that. They were like playboys, kind of. That's cool. Now, FDR, uh, was he... He was a philanderer, too. Really? Yeah, even while in the wheelchair... He had this lady. I can't remember her name. Oh, he, he did. He had like on. a secretary. He had like a secretary. He was very close with. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So he so far, her. yeah. Jeff uh, likes who, who are you? liberal <laughs> sexist. Who are you? Who are you? Andrew Dice Clay, the historian. Yeah, he fucked her. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, he fucked her. <laughs> All right. Truman did not cheat. Gay than lame. Add that to my notes here. <laughs> Liberal man, progressive, but does not value women. That's Jeff, what we get from asthma so thank far. Thank God we haven't had a female president. I'll say Jeff, that. Jeff, you know history. What? Uh, thank you. Uh, what president do you think was probably gay? Oh, Buchanan. Yeah, there was one. He was the one. He was single and he had a male roommate or something. Oh, yeah, he had a roommate. Wow. Definitely gay. And he was one of the worst presidents. You hate to make the correlation. I won't, but the listeners can. Oh, okay. I won't do that. They can make the jump do, on their own. Spend, the, spend all his time decorating the White House? <laughs> yeah, why was he so bad? He's, he was the guy who like defended. He was the last president before the Civil War. He did nothing oh, to he stop was a lame the Civil duck. War. Oh. Yeah, he just like let the Civil War happen. Yeah. Well, it's too busy. <laughs> too busy. <laughs> too busy <laughs> getting porked. <laughs> <laughs> Power bottom Buchanan. We, can't, we can have a him. top president. We can't have a bottom. That's what I'll say. Thank you. That can't have that. I, okay. I could, I could can, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I hate Jeff with his little notes. I story. like this. No. What did I'm you write? Notes. He just wrote liberal, liberal sexist. sexist. <laughs> That's all he wrote. He completely crossed off the question and wrote, check mark liberal sexist. <laughs> what is, is that going to do later? I'm you crossed off the question, so you don't even know what the question was. I can was. still read the question. I, I don't know. But we have found out you are a liberal sexist okay, so far. I'll take that. Sad. Good, good to know. Good to know. One good word, one bad word. You can choose which is which. Okay. Okay, let's let's move on to the next question here. Okay. Since we're on the uh, FDR, he okay. also had a, another uh, bill of rights, right? Didn't he have wanted to make a secondary bill of rights? Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe some fan that you might, are. Anyway, might be true. I don't know. Oh, what with the are? second bill? Of, I don't know what that means. It was like a right to health care and a right to this and that. Oh yeah, maybe maybe the Equal Rights Amendment. That might have been him. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways, okay. so well, what's the question? If we're speaking on rights. Let's move on to the next question for old Jeffrey Asmus here. Uh, uh, should animals have rights? What? 
Should animals have rights, Jeffrey? What type of rights? That's too broad. Just That's rights. Broad. Should animals have rights? They do. You can't torture animals. You can't be cruel. You can't fuck them. They already have yeah. them. The last They're greedy pl- if they want more. The last place you were able to fuck animals, Washington, and now you're not able to do it anymore. Is that true? Yeah. Washington State? That's oh, is that why the horse guy was there? Mr. Hands. They would all wow. fly up there to a certain ranch and go fuck animals. <laughs> it was legal? Yeah, I didn't know legal. what they were doing was legal. See? Yeah, so you say legal. so you say no animals should have rights. I think they should have some rights. Yeah. Why is that? Because <laughs> <laughs> secondary question, why is that? <laughs> Do you think you should be able to torture a dog, Jeff? <laughs> this isn't about me, Jeff. I just, it's this good, is not about this is me. This what people being interviewed do. They they bounce it back on the interviewer. These this are questions. Like, this is how interviewing goes. It goes both ways. These are questions for you. So you I'm say, hearing it to you. Animals should have rights. I think. Per sure. Jeffrey Asmus. Yeah, I think you shouldn't be able to kill an animal for no reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you obviously we kill them to eat them. Right. So that's fine. So they Torturing sh- them, what, either kill them or don't. So you're saying they should have rights. They should have rights. Why yeah. is this? Because they can feel pain and they have... Uh, they can feel they are pain? Not that, I mean, I know humans that are dumber than dogs, so... Yeah? And I yeah. won't name them. You do a podcast with one Yeah, I do yeah. a podcast with one name. Alex Dragovich. <laughs> what now, I'm saying, Serbians don't deserve rights. Jeff, as, a, uh, as, a, as a, mo- a, a modern theologian, do you think that animals have souls? Uh, some of them, some of the higher animals. Yeah, like a I think dolphin? the the mammals, the dolphins. Yeah, a dog. Come on, a cat. Which one's the Maybe highest? Maybe a pig. Pigs are up there, but I still like them. What would be them. the highest animal? Well, monkeys for sure. Okay, I don't, I don't now, know which one is. What the should their rights be? Um. Uh, well, you're trying to see because some people say they should vote. I. That's what you want me to say. Let's hear you what you want me to say. Monkey should be Anim- able to vote. Animals should. Vote. I don't think that's true. I think they animals can't vote. They should be able to kill them. What if we have a doctor? It be, it's murder. You should be charged with murder if you kill one. What so if, if you kill an animal, it is of murder. These higher up animals, I don't know how we rate it, but someone will have to do that. So if somebody kills a dolphin, that's a murder charge. I uh, a, a manslaughter, a dolphin slaughter charge. Yeah, dolphin. get a dolphin? Yeah. What if we get a Doctor Doolittle type that's able to find out who they want to vote for? Yeah, <laughs> we find out they're all just like hillbilly racists. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, kill the dolphins. Yeah, <laughs> actually, we'll kill them. Okay, I think cruelty to animals. That's that's a crime. It is a crime. So okay, I'm not, so like dolphins is manslaughter. Dolphins, let's see, yeah, monkeys, a whale, dog. a big whale, dog, of a course, big a dog. Whale. Those big whales, yeah. the sperm whales. Come on, sperm are sacred. Okay, they come get on. eaten by they get eaten by giant squids. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Really, giant squids? You can kill them. Okay, now they're, what about the? Really an elephant? Animal. You can't kill an elephant. That's wrong. That's a manslaughter? That's wrong. Right, that's, I think that's wrong. That's a manslaughter on elephants on. here. Especially when it's just for their tusks. Cut off the tusks. Okay. Now, what Leave if you... Uh, oh, don't cut off the Well, tusks. don't do that either, but if you're going to do it, <laughs> oh do that. God. Sure. Now, I think it's wrong. Sure. What if you uh, say, what if I grope an elephant? How would you grope an elephant? What do you mean? Fondle its cock? Yeah, yeah. I fondle a co- an elephant or a dolphin. I'm groping one of them. What is dolphins that? Dolphins want to fuck you. Dolphins are horny as hell. I, if the dolphin, I don't know how not you... Not into it. It's not into it's it? not then into you're, it. I think you get me too yeah, you get me too. Dude. So yeah. just a just a cancellation. I think that's worse than doing. I think it. if it's you just... do it to a dolphin, you get e tude. <laughs> oh, that... I wish we could do this sound, but I don't know how to do e- it. Is that fu- <laughs> yeah? <laughs> we can't do it. Yeah. We're not. It's too high pitched. So it's for just us, a cancellation. Uh, so I you don't mean, want the law to get involved. I think the law should. <laughs> if you're jacking off dolphins, yeah. the law should get involved. So the law should get That's involved. That's a cruelty. It's does the, the law same help, thing. Does it's the law help you finish them off, or do they take you away and blue ball the animal? <laughs> you're allowed to finish them off. The, 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 the cops can't stop you from finishing them off once. <laughs> That's okay. wrong. Let them, let them come. Let them come and let them go. Okay, so the law gets involved if I grope a dolphin. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this I, is a yeah. strict world you're building. <laughs> oh, oh, you're, oh, you're not allowed to <laughs> grope dolphins and elephants. You fucking pig! <laughs> you can't grope any animals. Can't, I mean, if they like it, I don't know how we find that out, but I think people have had sex with monkeys before. Okay, what about uh, what if you murder a cow? Well, are you eating it? No. 
just murdering it. Just thing? shooting it? You're just killing a cow. I, that's wrong. I don't yeah, know why you would I do think that. That's fucked up. That's too. fucked up. Okay, that's so if you kill an animal, you have to eat it. You have to use it. Yeah, you have to use its parts for. Okay, whatever. flip side. I murder a human being and I eat it. <laughs> yeah, and you use all the parts. Uh, you, you Fred Gein it. You use all the parts. You make furniture out of it. Ed Gein, I will not have you get our legends. What did wrong. I say? Fred Gein. Oh, my God. I can't I even believe gotta, myself. I got to respect a Wisconsin legend. He's Sorry. Sorry. He's right. Uh, Listen, I, he, Jeff, give me a second. Wisconsin, everyone in Wisconsin, I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize to the last podcast on the left podcast. I would like to apologize to Jeff. I like Sheen to apo- or me? you. Thank you. I'm never apologizing to Jeff Sheen. <laughs> I would like to apologize to Charlie Bury, and that is it. Those are the only people I know from Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good list. It's a good list. All right. So if you kill an Dahmer animal, too. you got to eat Dahmer. it. Jeffrey Dahmer. I you like kill to a human. To you. Kill. I think eating a human if they die naturally, there's nothing wrong with that. There is though, because I don't there's think parasites there's a, in their in the brain. The rest of it, no, I mean, it, it's not morally wrong. You'll just get sick. Yeah. And you get berry berry or something like that. Some and you get some kind of mad cow type yeah, disease. Yeah, something like that. I don't think, I think that eating dog, I think it's fine. I don't know why everyone's against it. Really? As long as they're not your pet, if, you're ra- if they're raised for the purpose of being eaten, why not? You say you can kill and eat a dog. I think as what? long as they're being raised for that purpose. You can, but you can't just kill a you dog. You can't just kill your pet. That's cruel because it feels love towards you. Okay, so you eating think- a horse, fine. People are against that. I think okay. that's fine. So according to you, <laughs> I think I'm into this, it. I'm into it. This is what I'm getting Mongolians here. Mongolians loved eating horses. They, they love the, the French eat horses all the time. It's a huge thing. The French are okay. pieces. Of the French though. are pigs. Not a good thing to say for morality. What, what's your What's your summary of my animal rights? <laughs> all right. Diatribe? So far, what I got here is if you kill an animal, they have rights. Okay. But you have to eat them. Uh, you can't yeah, just yeah. kill them. If, you... uh, if they're attacking you, we'll allow that, too. Self-defense. Self-defense. That's fair. Yeah, that yeah, works yeah. in the human mm-hmm. world, too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So if you kill an animal, you have to eat them. And if you fondle them, you must finish them off. <laughs> you have to finish it off <laughs> yeah. to completion. Some of these female dolphins are tough to make come, too. So if you start that process, get ready for an ordeal. Yeah. Okay. They get all mad because you can't hit their E spot. <laughs> So what I'm Twice gathering is good damn, the second time. Damn, Twice I'm just it's just one of those days where I'm on a legend. <laughs> All right, Jeff so just t- check that one off. Okay, Jeff well, Asmus, friend of the animal kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. Friend yeah. of the animals, of heard course. it here first. Come on, they they were here before us. They'll be here after us. Heard so it here let's first. Let's be kind to them. All right, let's move on since um, we're on this killing and manslaughter <laughs> stuff. My oh, God, it's morbid. getting dark. Yeah, how morbid. did this come up? It couldn't have been the question <laughs> yeah. I was asked. Anyway, couldn't have had anything to do with that. Since we're on these dark things, Je- Jeffrey, are you afraid of death? <laughs> Good question. Uh, you know, are you afraid to die Jeff, yourself? This, is, this huh. is one of those tough questions. Huh. Yeah. Am I afraid? Yeah, are you afraid to die? Sometimes. I'd say one day a week, maybe. One day Two a week. Two days a week, maybe. I mean, if we're I'm not picking a day every week, but on average, usually when I get high. <laughs> oh, okay. Why. It's it's the come down from being high. That's when you're like, God, that's when you think about it. So when you're on drugs, you're afraid of death. Sure, sure. Sometimes right before I go to bed, too, I'm like, oh, I had a good day. Hope I have another. Really? Yeah. Sober. I'm not. Just so, going to bed. Some Generally not. So you're laying there sober, and you're like, I'm afraid to die. Not. not I, I'd i say a, a quarter of the time. A quarter of the time. And then the other. I'm pretty like, oh, there's a God. We'll be fine. So the other three quarters, <laughs> you're not afraid to die not at all. I'm pretty certain I'm either going to heaven or hell, and. It all keeps going. You're pretty certain it's a 50-50 shot, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to heaven for all I've done for people like Sheen and mm-hmm. the other mentally challenged. I like world. to believe that I'm not going to die until <clears throat> One Piece is finished. What's One Piece? It's a manga and anime that I've put about 20 years of my life into. Oh, yeah. what do you mean 20 years? It keeps going on? It's been going for about 25 years. They regularly put out episodes? They put out a chapter about 40 weeks a year. A, one ever, a chapter every week? Yeah, there's like over a thousand <clears throat> chapters. Is it good? Yeah, it's incredible. It's the greatest story that's ever been told. And he has tied his life to it. It I, doesn't repeat or get nope, boring? Nope, it's awesome. It's the same guy or woman? No, it's the same crew. They're, you're following the adventures of the Straw Hat crew through the seas. Wow. 
as as, Lu, as Luffy <laughs> as flabbergasted Lu, as Luffy journeys to become the pirate king. It's incredible. You know, to each their own. Doesn't sound like it for me, but I. It sounds like Tim likes it, and mm. you can't yuck a man's yum, Jeff. No, you can't yuck a man's. He just yum. writes down one fourth. One fourth. That's all he afraid got. to die. One fourth. What about you, Jeff? She three quarters. Not afraid. three quarters. Christian heaven, hell, purgatory. So we're saying maybe if people, you know, three quarters of the week, you are ready to be a hero. Not say. afraid to die. <laughs> oh, that's not how that works. <laughs> what? <laughs> not. I guess that's true. Jeff yeah. wrote it down. Yeah, I don't think so that's not. Th- three quarters of the week, you will stop a mass shooting. It doesn't mean I want to die. Not afraid to die. I want. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. I'm realistic. I'm not gonna stop a mass shooter. I know they're pretty gangly usually, but I'm a little bit ganglier yeah. than them. But one I quarter, would, I would stop a guy maybe from jumping in front of the train. Maybe. Yeah, my roommate did it yesterday. I don't know if I would do the same. Stopped a guy from jumping in front of the train? Yeah, he a guy was on the sitting on the edge of the tracks about to jump in and my roommate and another person pulled him out while he was fucking struggling. Thank God cuz there's nothing worse oh, than dude. the fucking back up that causes. That no. guy's like the most sudden, I would have yelled at him too. I'd have been like, "You selfish piece of shit." And he was a big guy too, more clean up. Damn. Wow. When they got that gut, then the guts. Yeah, explodes. It's all big and beautiful till it's all over the tracks, is what I'll say. Lizzo's a real thick queen until she's in front of the F train. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> then it's not so beautiful and brave anymore. Yeah. So three not quarters so of the week, somebody shot at Lizzo. You dive in front of the bullet because uh, you're not afraid I to die. I, this, you're, okay. These are not the same conclusions. <laughs> but not being quarter- afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a wild <laughs> elephant, but I don't want to be near one. I'm not hoping for it. So one quarter of the week, you are just terrified or running from a mass shooter in elementary school. Oh, you're not running from a mass yeah. shooter? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm such a coward. <laughs> oh, I'm such a coward. When the rat-a-tat-tat of the AR-15 goes off, Jeff Sheen runs towards it. <laughs> That's right. And yeah. you will, too, three quarters of the week. I would yeah. not. <laughs> That's what I heard, too, the Jeff. The second yeah. the mass shooting starts, I'm bolting. Okay, so I three. I was good at sprinting in high school, and I'll be back. When I'm going to blow out an ACL. I will. I'll break an ankle. I'm out of there. I'm not saving anyone, I'll get probably. I'll camped right in the dome. Unless beach. there's friends or family there, maybe then I would. So about maybe five days a week, you're ready to be a hero. All right. Sure. You That's heard bad. it here first, folks. <laughs> five days a week. Catch them on the right day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope you catch me on the right day. Because <laughs> if it's one quarter of the week, he's running, and you are on your own. Threaten Jeff at his comedy show. See which day it is. Yeah, see which day, because <laughs> two days it's a week. It's happened before. I'm sure it will happen again at Afraid. one of my shows. I had a guy take his shirt off and go, you want to fucking fight me oh, right now? Oh, I had a very similar thing And happen. I go, no, no, I do not. What did you say to him? I said, no, sit down. Now, what did you say to make him mad? Uh, well, he was talking. I go, listen, when your friend was on stage bombing, you weren't saying shit. Oh. So how about you shut the fuck up? Whose friend was it? Just some, it was at the open mic. Oh, it was just some guy Indy? that was, yeah, it was just some wow. guy that was talking loudly. Oh, that's rough for the friend too. Yeah. I had a bunch of lesbians try to fight me one time too. I, that makes sense. I that was, o- well, I, th- here's the thing. I was not in the wrong on this one. Wow. Well, 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 let's tell the story. Okay. First. I was opening for Jen Kober, funny okay. lesbian comedian. Never. I'm sure. So I, I was opening for Jen Kober, and uh, there are these women in the audience, and I just go, ladies, if you're going to have a conversation, can you, you know, could you just not while I'm on stage? I got like 20 more minutes. It's just really distracting. And they go, we're waiting for the female. I go, okay, uh, well, if you want to have a conversation, you could go at the bar, wait for the female at the bar. Yeah, yeah. I go, you know, or if you're going to stay in here, just, you know, keep it down a little bit. And uh, then they kept talking. And I go, ladies, come on. And then they said, we're waiting on the female. We don't really think you're funny. And I said, listen, cunts. Oh. I don't ooh. give a fuck. And then I told them to go fuck themselves. Oh, and I really geez. got it. Was the crowd on your side? They turned out. They didn't like me to begin with. So no. <laughs> so no, they weren't really on my side when I called the women cunts. And then, yeah, that's uh, a tough one for a lesbian crowd. Ooh, that's but, a tough uh, one. You're a tough draw for a lesbian crowd. Well, You're kind of what they don't like. <laughs> Jen Colbert, uh, she goes, I'm so sorry. Uh, on 
behalf of all lesbians. That was really shitty what they did. Oh, she but, said that on yeah. stage? No, no. She said that to me right after the show. And she goes, do not leave this green room. They want to fucking fight you. I go, I'll fight all fucking three of them. She well, goes, no. Stay in the green room. <laughs> oh, wow. Room. Oh, my were they Lord. bigger ladies? Uh, no. And you they were could like, have taken them. But three of them, that's tough. They that's were all tough. in their 50s. I could have fucked them you, up, Oh, that could have been fun. That could well, have been fun. I don't condone violence. <laughs> but we check this <laughs> off on Jeff's We check that one off. Let's go. To the keep next going one. and uh, well, I mean you said it earlier so I kind of have an idea where it's headed but okay what is this? what does happen after we die Jeffrey I oh. think we're judged for our actions and an almighty creator hopefully the Christian one because that's the one I've been betting on uh <laughs> judges us for our actions okay you think if we it's go the up. Muslim one I'm sorry about how I felt in middle school towards you wow uh, 9-11 really affected uh, you 9-11 right Minnesota, suburban Minnesota we had some hate towards the Muslim community See, no longer so you think Christian God? Well, that's judges. just how I was taught, but I don't know if that's right. Yeah, you get judged. Yeah, I think yeah. we, I think we yeah. go to a pit of blackness and nothing, and nothing happens. Oh come on, boring. That's lame. I think we all get reincarnated. Or I don't think that, but I think that would be nice. We, we be come that. back as uh, different versions of ourselves in another yeah. universe. We Cooler. come back as a different type of stand-up comedian. Yeah. Cooler, more successful versions that aren't failing at 36. No. We're doing great. We're all doing great. So you're, you're subscribing. I'm coming back as a cruise ship comic. That's what I want. Okay. Christian. How does he spell Christian? Christian. I don't that think that doesn't was. An loves, H at the end. It doesn't God. even look right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> loves God. <laughs> Interesting that you are a Christian and you love God, but you are still afraid to die two days a week. Huh. Yeah, huh. we all doubt. We all have doubts. Yeah, does not completely believe. It's just like any relationship, you have doubts. Everything has doubts. Now, yeah. follow up. I had doubts. <laughs> Remember from the movie Doubt? Yeah, oh, I knew that. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't now, know that. But Jeff, can you it. tell us this? Well, so you are Christian and all this. You know, one fourth of the time you're afraid <laughs> to die. Uh, one, two. Why do you waver? What do I waver? Why do you waver? Oh, why do I waver? Yeah. <laughs> why do you waver in this love of God? <laughs> What is this? Like some fucking <laughs> confirmation hearing? Is this like my, a fucking... You're like Jesus being uh, questioned by Satan. On yeah. The... Is this my confession at Catholic <laughs> Church in the chapel? Why, at Jeff? St. Ambrose of Woodbury again? Please answer the question. Why do you waver? Well, you know, you know, Jeff, sometimes you see a lot of evil in the world and you wonder, well, how can God allow such evil? How can God let you be on late night? TV. How could God let Jeff Sheen perform <laughs> okay. stand up? I know on one night Tommy TV. McNamara asked that question at least <laughs> I, once a week. Okay. I think we've all wondered that. So you waver theodicy, the problem of evil. Okay. How does God allow evil to happen? So you Spell see Odyssey. It's O D S E. This is a, it's actually spelled not the actually that was actually kind of close. Yeah. It's O D I C Y. This is a different waiver. You were right in a normal way because yeah. oh. of friend success. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Add that okay. to your profile. I like here. this is a good little thing you have. <laughs> I hate it, but it is funny. I hate it, but I think it's a good little quirk you got going here. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. All right. Well, you really you went for the heavy hitters in the first episode, though. I don't know where you're gonna go from here. I mean, we'll just. Keep are you going. doing the same? No, I mean with every episode, you're going to ask them all. Are you afraid of death? No, we'll keep flying around. One time, hey. he asked, one time he asked Dan Yang. We had to take it out of the episode. He asked Dan Yang, "Who do you think is smarter, women or trans women?" Oh, <laughs> and Dan Yang goes, "Will you please take that out?" <laughs> yeah, I did have an iteration of that question on here for <laughs> Asmus as well. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm yeah. willing to answer it. Okay, I, will, I don't get. This is, an, this is an iteration, though. I it's won't not be the same silenced question. by the woke mob. Not the same question. <laughs> they won't uh, get me. Uh, who shops more? <laughs> God, we all, but me. we all do know that women <laughs> be shopping. Women it, or trans <laughs> women? <laughs> I think. Tra can I answer? I think it's probably women. I bet trans women are generally poor from the surgery, don't have as much money to shop with. I wow, interesting logical answer. I think they have to shop more. 
whole new outfits. Mm, you got to get true. You're, you're living a new life. You got to switch everything around. That's actually, I actually switched my answer. That's right. That's what we're going That's with? That's what we're going with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. two wardrobes. They have to buy a whole yeah. new outfit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you don't have to because men and women's clothes aren't opposite. You can wear right. the same outfit either way. Just cutoffs. Yeah, everything's a cutoff and now. Just wear a cutoff, some assless chaps. Okay, double wardrobe, more Man, best money. ass I've ever seen in my life. Was in Chicago outside of Berlin. I go, look at that ass. It was a guy's. Nothing wrong with that. Truly yeah. incredible, though. I believe I've done it. that several times. Oh, absolutely. I got a dumper on me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I was actually walking behind Asmus on the way here. Yeah. Asmus, is double, <laughs> Asmus is damn double cheeked up. I got cheeked up. Sorry. People don't expect it with my emaciated frame. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It all goes it to all that fucking goes donk. To the dump. He's got cheeks there. Oh, what's the next <laughs> horrible question? Cheeks. What? No, these what are nice. This? That was an easy was question. Was it okay when Saddam Hussein killed the Kurdish rebels? I didn't write uh, that. Some, he didn't. Easy some one. Some moral question. Kurdish, some no. moral quandary. Kurdish written there is C E R D I S H. Is it good when Saddam killed the cheese curds? Spelling <laughs> is hard and it's <laughs> stupid and it's a construct. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, spelling it's is racist. A construct. Spelling is racist. Mm-hmm. Thank All you. right, Jeff. This is a, this is an easier one. Uh-huh. Uh, what does a person need to be happy? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think happiness. People is, are dying. To happiness know. isn't real, first of all. But if we're gonna go with the dumb hallmark bullshit of happiness, which I know you want, yeah, that's what yeah. we want. You got to make eighty k a year. They've done studies. I would you have love to, make to make eighty 80K. to ninety k a year. That really? So Not sick. to that doesn't. You you could be happy with less than that, but above eighty or ninety k, more money doesn't make you happier. Eighty or ninety k is when you have enough to survive and be happy. Eighty yeah. to ninety. Yeah, that's, that's all what, you that's need. That's what they've done. Maybe in a hundred in New York. Who knows with this? But sure. the damn mayor. Sure, sure. The damn mayor. You need, you need I would say you need double of whatever. Whatever the regular thing is for the middle of the country, you need in New York. Yeah, I would. I'd say a hundred k. I think eighty k in Fort Wayne, you could live like a king, dude. You could yeah. live like a great life. But my, buddy, my, buddy, my buddy makes like 250K in Fort Wayne. Oh, he's the king of Fort it's, Wayne. He has five kids and they are, and it's like, I'm like, damn, you must, you must not have a lot of money. He goes, I don't have fucking loaded. I was like, that's insane. <laughs> that's, you have five children. But the, everything's so cheap in the middle of the country. Yeah, it's crazy. His it's, house is huge. It's awesome. But you have to eat at Applebee's with your family. So there's a trade off. Yeah, uh, Jeff loves up. Applebee's. I do love Applebee's. That's disgusting. This is interesting. What, what else? Do you this need? profile I'm building. What else? Oh, I, mean, I didn't even finish. It's not just <laughs> money. I know you wrote so down far, money. We got money brings <laughs> happiness. <laughs> that was the first. Believe thing I in said. Christ. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like you're a conservative, my man. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, no, <laughs> would never, would never. <laughs> if I ever make a to ninety k, I might be, but it's a pie in the sky right now. Okay. Are you not? You're not monetizing any of your. Oh, I uh, I just recently did. I've been getting some checks from that, but uh, do you feel you really, happier? You got it. A little, a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little less anxious. I would say. Is That's it the knowledge? Good. Is it the knowledge that your art is creating a is creating a pathway for you to be financially independent, making you happy? That's good. Or is it just the money, baby? It's, yeah. it's a lot of this. A lot of me <laughs> stroking dollar bills. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah, having a dream, a passion. Having a job you care about, that makes really? you happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dream. Stand-up comedy. I, I couldn't imagine work selling insurance. I feel so sorry I for any I would say listeners. stand-up comedy brings me more anger than anything because it, I, I see what is succeeding, and it's it, it absolutely burns me up. It, yeah. it, it definitely leads to a lot of anger and jealousy. That is true. But the high highs are very high. So Never really? had any of those. It, the, a good show, doing a good like road weekend on the road is more exciting than most people's lives. Wow. Sorry. A lot of people I know from high school live very dull lives, and I wouldn't trade anything for what they <laughs> really? do. Really? Sorry. So Sorry. Some of them have any- Money and stand-up comedy is what brings money happiness. Money and an artistic... <laughs> A pursuit that's fulfilling. I was taken completely out of context. I love this. This Jeff, is what no. the, this is what the right wing pundits okay. are talking about. Jeff the main hears. St- Jeff hears what's. The, Jeff hears the truth. Yeah, he doesn't hear. He, he sifts yeah. through it. You heard it here first, folks. If you want to be happy, get into stand up and make money. <laughs> 
There, there was this two guy, antithetical pursuits. There was this guy at uh, there was this guy at the stand. He was real drunk. He goes, "Yeah, man, I'm making like 300k doing finance, but I'm thinking about throwing it all away and starting stand up." And I grabbed him. I go, "Don't." Do that. <laughs> Do not. I was like, I could own a business right now, but I live with, off my girlfriend. It is a horrible life. Yeah. But he's probably very sad as well. Yeah. I know people who make a lot of money who cry themselves to sleep every night because right. they just work in a bank. So, so you only need all... 80 to 90 plus 80... stand up comedy. Plus yeah. stand up comedy and a fulfilling romantic relationship is good too. Wow. You know yeah, what? That leads that. us right to the next question. Oh, wow. wow. A good tag team effort. Here. Great job. All right, Jeff. Incredible. Is true love real? Okay. Why or why not, and have you found it? Wow. wow. I don't want to go down this road. <laughs> I don't need this on a I don't need this on a recorded podcast. I don't need this on a record. Wow. I don't think this is one well, I want to answer publicly. That's a lot of words to say no. I think true love is real and I found it. Yes. Wow. That's all I'm gonna that's say. That's what you want, right? That's there. all I'm saying. We'll that's see how all. well this ages. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think it will age quite nice. Like, We're putting that on the record. Put that on the Jeff record. is found true love. Found true love, and it's stand-up comedy. And it's real. <laughs> and it's doing a VFW in Rockford, Illinois. Oh, man. That's true love. <laughs> Who books that? I don't. I actually have never done that. I was oh. thinking of Mustangs in Beloit. Oh, man. Crane's Butter. Crane's That's Butter, That's the gig baby. I was thinking of, yeah. I don't know Spread it on. I don't know his real name. It can't be for Crane's Butter. It, Dude, Craig, you never did Mustangs up in South Beloit, Jeff? Really? No. Oh, wow. you, that's why it is a little rough around the edges. What? You never that's did where, Mustangs. You that's, can where tell. You sharp, that's where you, you sharpen the You can tell the knife, you're bro. a little... Wet around the collar. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not hardened like me. Yeah, and you can't do. Okay. You can't do a biker bar like we can. All right, this isn't about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is about Jeff. Okay, go to the next one. Let's go to the next question mm. here. Uh, what is your opinion on antidepressants? Oh, okay. Why? What's yours? What? No, no, no Jeff, no. no. Come on. Everyone does this during interviews. It's no. a classic device, rhetorical device, mirroring. We got to know what it, what is your opinion on Andy? I think I'll tell you mine. You know one of mine? Yeah. I mean it, it is true love. Oh, you're what? just telling me an answer to a previous question? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, yeah, I, I no, love antidepressants, not... and they create true love. Oh. Uh, yeah, Jeff's on antidepressants now. That's why he doesn't drink. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is that why you quit drinking? Mm-hmm. That's the main reason? That's one of the big he ones. He said he would wow. get so tired. He told me he went on a hike one day and had one beer and got so tired. He got so <laughs> sleepy. I actually agree. Antidepressants have made me sleepy when I've taken them. I no longer have them because I have a strong brain. But oh, okay, thanks. so I, uh, so your opinion on antidepressants? I think I think they're good, but overprescribed. That's really? What I would say I think people throw them on a little too willy nilly. Now, I think what? people are getting on antidepressants before they try the basic things you need to do to be happy. Yeah, and what are get the rid basic? of your someone thetans. who's yeah get yeah get a get a thetan <laughs> level reading. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Start stand up comedy. Right, okay. you're not making a to ninety k, and you think antidepressants are going to help? Good luck, Betty. Good <laughs> luck, yeah, Betty Draper. Yeah. So, so you're saying you should do stand up, make eighty to ninety, and if that's not working, then antidepressants. And I think you should be exercising regularly. Early, not drinking a lot, yeah. eating oh. a good diet. People are like they don't exercise, they drink every day, and they're like, "I need antidepressants." It's like <laughs> they're not going to help you. You're a fucking fat loser. You're yeah. never going to be happy. I don't care if they you guzzle a gallon of Zoloft a day. You gotta, wow. you gotta work out and get moving and shit. Okay. No matter how much you use the stage as your therapy, it'll never help. <laughs> it'll never work. It okay, so work. you think people need to exercise more, make more money, and believe in God? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so I, far, I didn't say God got. at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is just misquote after misquote. No, you said you're Christian. You, you that was a different God. question. Yeah, you I'm can't, putting it all together. This is a whole profile. Ex- the He's Venn building. diagram of these circles are not on top of each other. <laughs> I am building a profile. He's building a profile. Okay. Believe in is... God, exercise, and make a lot of money. I think believing in God could make you happier. I also think it could make you a lot sadder if you think God hates gay people and you're gay. That sure. Could definitely, oh, yeah. That could definitely make you pretty bummed out. Yeah, they'll bum you out. Thank God I'm not gay, and thank God God loves gay people. There you yeah, go. If you're gay, 
go to a church where they believe that God loves gay people. Yeah, that's yeah. How you, that's a, how you fix that. There's a few of them. My parents go to a church like that. They don't like Muslim people, but they do like gay people. So mm-hmm. they're working. They're, they're getting there. Towards it. They're yeah. getting there. Gay they Muslims? love guitar solos too. Gay Muslims, you're half in. Love when the drummer and they play. They got a little band going. That sucks. Yeah, it really <laughs> sucks. It's really lame. Gosh. Religion sucks. God sucks. Oh, oh okay. That's okay. enough. That's, that's enough, about of that. enough of that. Yeah, Jeff, do you uh, do you believe in ghosts? No. No, I think that's lame. Not at all. No, I think it's why it doesn't make any sense. Why would the, these they survive the afterlife so they can kind of annoy us sometimes? But you believe in a spirit. I I do not. Or a no. soul. I believe it's a heaven and hell is a very different place we have no connection to. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't think nothing gets trapped in this realm? No, there's no evidence of ghosts. There's zero evidence. What about those videos where a chair moves? Yeah. It's not. What there, is that? There's, there's a string. They're tricking you. They're all, <laughs> they're all doing it. They're all tricking you. It's all just guys making money. What about EMF readings? That's nothing. It's bullshit. They're electromagnetic frequencies. Don't say they're nothing. Yeah, it's, what about that? It's just from like, I don't know the science enough for that, but it's not ghosts. What about a place that's spooky as hell? Yeah. <laughs> what about a sudden if temperature drop? It's a drop? self-fulfilling prophecy. If you think there's ghosts, you're going to hear noises and believe in ghosts. It's just, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, so no ghosts. Nah, none at all. Doesn't My believe girlfriend in believes in ghosts and I think that's one of her worst characteristics. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I think it's lame. It's and lame, babe. I weird. like the shows, though. They're kind of entertaining, but they're not. there's no evidence for ghosts. So your girlfriend believes in ghosts. She does. Hold on. Let me write this down. <laughs> oh, God. Because he said he found true love. Oh, dates hi- dates uh-huh. a hypocr- he's a hypocritical dater. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can, you can date outside your uh, belief system. Ghost, Jeff, what do you think you know? about people who believe in ghosts but are atheists? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, I think that's that's sellout shit. You can't do that. Mm. You already gave up the belief in an afterlife. You can't be an they atheist. Gotta, they gotta be you gotta pick together. one or the other. You can't get the joy of the afterlife and not the fear. Okay. Come on. I believe that. I, all right, it's okay, good. Okay, go. I got Jeff on my side. Good here. answer. Good answer. Oh, <laughs> I got Jeff on my yeah. side. And then the next one is least favorite fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read the question. That's the next question. <laughs> after, do you believe in ghosts is least favorite fruit? My least favorite fruit? Bruce Valanche. Thank I you. I knew oh! that was coming. Thank you. Is he gay? Absolutely. No, no Asmus. He's just Why eccentric. was he famous ever? He was on Hollywood Squares. Yeah. But you, you can't be famous for being on a show for famous I think he people. was a TV writer. Yeah, I think he was a writer for Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. Oh, he wrote Whoopi Goldberg's jokes, so then I saw him when I was sick home from school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only time I watched that show. Yeah. Who hosted it? Tom Bergeron. Tom Bergeron. The Burge, yeah, baby. Yeah, the Burge. Hot yep. man. Hot Anyways, man. answer the, I guess just answer that question. Least, you already saw it. Least favorite fruit? A yeah. pear. A disgusting Dude, monstrosity. Pears are trash. Pears are, pears kind of are trash. absolute trash. Really? There's no, not, it's not good in anything. Nothing pear flavored is good. It's it's a, a completely God really fucked up with the pear. Well, it pairs well with my palate. Oh, <laughs> he did it. He wrote that just for that. He just what a dumbass pun. What's your least favorite fruit? He hates pears. What's yours? My least favorite? Yeah, a red apple. What? Oh, like those classic red apples. Yeah. Those are gross, too. Don't like a red apple. What? They're like really no. dark red. Yeah, yeah, those are disgusting. Those are fine. No, they're bad. They're too waxy, and they are they don't have much flavor. Here's what I'll say. Overall, fruits overrated. That's insane. They're not healthy at all. It's it was We were lied to as What kids. about grapes? Fruits are like barely healthy. It's all sugar. It's I know, but sugar. grapes are yeah. good. Gra- they, they got little vitamins in them, but it's mostly sugar. But what about oranges? I like grape. Oranges are probably the best. They got like the pulp and all that. that Lemons might... and limes keep you from getting scurvy. Lemon Asp- is actually good for you, actually. Okay, I'll say that. As Asp- 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 Max Fine. <laughs> a man who got scurvy. That is crazy. Um, I can't oh, he, believe he got that. scurvy? Yeah, he was living the pirate life. He and doesn't he eat scurvy. fruits or vegetables. I still can't believe that's true, but I've been told it is. Wow. He said he got rid of his scurvy by drinking margaritas. <laughs> that's fruit that counts that's a fruit that counts All pizza's right. a vegetable hates mm-hmm. pears sad to see it I love a pear you eat a yeah. pear plain? I like pears I, yeah. love a, I love a pear too if you know what I'm saying yeah pear yeah. tits oh. hourglass right. figure come on we love it hates <laughs> pears <laughs> we love those voluptuous vixens yeah. we really love do. them 
All right. Okay, Jeff, what's the Moving next on shite here. question? No, these are nice this questions. This is long. This is a long one. Who do you love more, your mother or your father? Wow. And why? Oh, I got to go mother on this one. I think if you don't, there's something wrong with you. Okay. You, so always you love, love your... the woman more. Loves his mother Game more. Or not. Now, follow-up question. Why do you hate your father? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Please answer it. Because he works for the evil nuclear power industry. No, I actually like that he does that. My dad for... has Homer Simpson's job. Really? Same job. Same really? He's you retired have... now, but yeah. You have Homer, Dad? He has the exact same job Did as Homer Simpson. you grow up on yeah. 7722 7, Evergreen Terrace? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we did. Did wow. he work in Sector 7G? Sector 7G. Simpson, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Homer with his little autistic Bart son. <laughs> yeah. Bart wasn't autistic. <laughs> you are, though. Yeah, yeah you Bart are. Bart was cool as hell. I wish I could have been cool like Bart. So cool. you didn't answer the question, though, because you, you went back on it. You like that he works for nuclear. Why do you hate your father? I uh, <laughs> don't I don't hate my father. <laughs> I think he was a little hard on me for sports sometimes. There it is. Oh, oh, he, was, he was just mad that he created a, a wimpy kid. He that was mad do he created a kid who wouldn't run hard enough in soccer. Oh. I never quite tried hard enough. I'll admit it. I'll really? admit it now. So that's why you hold the animosity towards your father. I, hold, I, really, hate, you. I really hate myself. Yeah. I was actually pretty good at soccer. I could have been great. But not good enough, according to your nah, dad. Not good enough. I was a decent striker. Could not you bend bat. it like Beckham? Um, yeah, I had some good shots. I yeah. had some, I, I, we played traveling soccer. Okay. I, I traveled the, the deep Midwest. I'm assuming, wow. uh, assuming I was... your mother coddled you. <laughs> Did you play Westerville, Ohio? We didn't get that far. Oh, Was that where you're from? No, I'm from Indianapolis. Yeah, it was like, where, why Ohio? Westerville, why Ohio? Ohio was always very good at rugby, so I assume oh. they were good at soccer. No, we didn't. We, we don't play so- rugby in Minnesota. That's not right. Mm. Rugby mm. ain't right. Strange. Big soccer state, though. I don't know why. Well, that's interesting. The biggest soccer complex in America is in Minnesota. Huh. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Well, cool the more there. you know, the more you know. All right, we got a few more here. Oh, this is a fun God. one. This here is a little go. fun one. I doubt it. No, this one's just fun and cute. Okay, I think it's pretty fun, bro. What? Do you know the question? Nope. Oh, okay. No. What is uh? What do you find to be more obscene? Oh God. A bald man without a hat or a woman breastfeeding in public? <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Is the bald man wearing a turtleneck like a uh, person Ooh. we know? Oh, because- is the bald man attractive? I mean, there's different types of bald. Is the woman attractive? The woman's attractive, yeah. the man is not. Oh, the then, then, the, man then is. the man is more offensive. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I hate, of course. To jump, I hate to jump in on Asmus's answer, but that's so easy. Know your answer. worth, <laughs> King. Come on. If you're yeah, ugly and you're bald, put a hat on it. It's How about fine. This? How about this? They're at the same attractive level. Are they both attractive or ugly? They're both attractive. Uh, then it's fine. Then, it's, then the, it's fine. Which one would you rather uh, get rid of? I'd rather get rid of the man in the hat because I love seeing a, a hanger out. Wow. I love seeing a pair of ploppers out. All right. Come on. As missed. People, also, women don't breastfeed in public. You never see it. Pervert. We always talk look. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't looking. I ain't looking. looking How often everywhere. are women breastfeeding in public? <laughs> oh, in the summer? Never. Dude, I you never see that. You can go to Washington Square Park. They might as well call it Washington Squirt Park. There's milk all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see them in the parks in the oh, summer. Oh, rarely. Yeah. It's, we talk about it too much. But when you do, you love it, it sounds like. I, I would mind it. Yeah, sure. Right. Let them hang. I don't care. Asma said. Asma I think public me, nudity should be fine. No Asma perverts. told me once he couldn't come unless a woman had a baby's mouth tan line around her nipple. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's, That's true. Me. Sorry. Sorry. I make my I make my girl just find a baby to clamp on <laughs> oh. so she gets that tan line I like. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> prepare yeah, prepare for pop pop. I can't believe you said that, <laughs> Oh, come on. I thought everything was allowed on this podcast. It's all allowed. All right. Uh, this one's I this is going to create a Gonna need some imagination on your end here. Okay. We'll see if we can pull Why? it off. Why? Because you didn't do the leg work on the. No, question. no. I just want you to give me a scenario. Hold oh. on, Jeff. Choo choo. Next stop, Imagination Station. Yeah. Oh. Take us to Imagination Town, Jeff. Okay. Give me a little bit of a foundation. Give us a scenario where drinking and driving and it's okay. <laughs> oh, you got to be home. Okay. Here's the deal. You're out with your pregnant wife. Oh. At the bar, okay. you're having a few with the fellas. Everyone's drunk, but you're a little less drunk, and 
holy moly, her water breaks. Oh, no. You got to take her to St. Jude's in uh, Cedar Creek, Wisconsin. You got to go there. You got to drive her to the hospital. You're bobbing and weaving through traffic, but she makes it. She's okay. gonna if she doesn't make it, if you crash, she dies. But if you don't make it, she'll probably die of giving birth. Sure. So either way, she's gonna die. Okay. Two birds, one stone. Two. You're happy either way. <laughs> so yeah. it's okay Two to drink and drive if there's an emergency. If your wife is giving birth, yeah, or if you have like a heart attack, you're allowed to drive home from the bar. Okay, yeah. emergencies only. Or your friend, if he's having a heart attack, sure. Okay, if you were having a heart attack, and I had a few. I'd, I'd drive you. you drive me to the hospital? Yeah, you sober fuck. I appreciate Even that. You were supposed to be our DD, but then you're like, oh, I'm actually having a heart attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that the scenario you go to a pregnant wife, another relation to babies and breastfeeding. Mm. Uh, Still. I mean, not necessarily. The pro- baby's not out yet. This man sounds like he's pro life, Jeff. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you have any abortion yeah. known perverts on there? No one pervert. <laughs> I whenever, why he's not allowed in these parks to see all these women breastfeeding. They, I can't. I can't go to Washington Tit Park, <laughs> <laughs> Washington Squirt Park. All oh, right. Uh huh. What about this one? Here we go. If you were a store owner, what would your store be called, and what would it sell? What is this even? <laughs> Where do these come from? Where does it come from? <laughs> That's such a good question. What yeah. would my store be called? You can't come up with this on the spot. <laughs> what would it sell? What would it sell? The name? What am I selling? Oh. Mine would be Tim's Toy Store. And it would, oh, sell, and it would sell toys. Great Ad- job. Adult toys. Oh, <laughs> I'd run a bookstore. A bookstore? A used bookstore. Oh, a nice, cool, God. used bookstore. What's it called? Jeffrey's Antiquaries. <laughs> <laughs> what? Antiquaries? Is that a word? Yeah. Antiquities. Antiquities by Jeff. Antiquities by Jeff. <laughs> Antiquities by that Jeff. That is a store owned by a gay man. <laughs> yeah, and I've been told I'm gay many times. I it's bet. about time I face the music. Yeah. It is ABBA. Dude, it would be crazy if you were never told you were gay. <laughs> I've been told I was life. gay so many The internet <laughs> loves to say I'm gay. They love to say it, and they what do it right, often. Jeff? I'm just writing down Antiquities by Jeff, and it's a used bookstore. <laughs> and we're pro- mostly nonfiction. Fiction books. Oh, nice. I feel like a lot of bookstores they have a small nonfiction section. We're what? gonna change that. Out of business is what I'd call your store. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's all antiquities, but it's only books and a bar. There's a bar. You oh, can yeah. get a drink and read a book. Oh, yeah, okay. Wrong with that. You can read a read a, gr- a book about Ulysses S. Grant and have a fucking. Uh, Drink. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there? wow. That riff really petered out. Yeah. yeah, it did. Yeah, you come for the king, you might want to wear the crown. What, okay. what's, a, what's, a, what's a drink I'm thinking of? An old timey drink that mint he would julep. a mint julep. mint julep. Yeah, he was a huge alcoholic. Is that why you said him? No, I just oh. know that Jeff had that book. Yeah, been oh, that Grant book. was a huge alcoholic. Oh, yeah, I, know. I read the oh, book. Oh yeah, he read. The, he read his memoir. Mm-hmm. Wow, big book for a little man. You don't remember? You don't remember when Jeff kept talking about how he didn't, how Ulysses S. Grant didn't make it till he was over forty? I yeah. didn't. Af- I assumed that he just read the Wikipedia. I didn't know he was actually I read reading. The book. The me- I've heard the memoirs are quite good. It's good. It's a good book. Grant heard, Grant he rules. Hates, he he hates the Jews. He did not like the Jews. He did not like. <laughs> he sent a special order, sending it, telling the Jews to get out of his camp. Yeah, I believe in he, the was, Civil War. he was not a fan of the Jews. Yeah, well, every king has his. Yeah, no one's perfect. I can't say the word, but a uh, soft spot in the armor. Mm. We can't say that word anymore. Sure, you can. Oh. Anyways, let's keep going here. We only got a few more. We'll wrap okay. this boy up can't with even a bow. Read this next one. Yeah, it's a, it's a cute one. What's your favorite Sesame Street character? Oh, oh that's I haven't nice. thought about Sesame Street in a long time. Who's your favorite character? I o- I only know Bert, Ernie. I knew he's gonna El- go Bert, Ernie. Ernie. I know. <laughs> I'm just naming who I know first. Remember, uh, I, bet I only you know, know Bert, Ernie. Bert, Ernie, <laughs> Oscar, the Count, Elmo, and Big Bird. Who else is there? Oh, uh, Elmo. I just said Elmo. Uh, Grover. Oh, Grover. Grover. I don't remember what Grover's personality was. Really. He's like a dog. I, maybe he's like a blue guy. He's blue, oh. but what's like his like aura? What's he like? He's a fun time. He's yeah. a, I think Elmo. You got to go Elmo. I like Elmo. You're he's, an Elmo his guy. His voice is funny. That follows under Jeez. known pervert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elmo's funny. Elmo's world was fun. I like Elmo. Elmo's world. 
I'm a Cookie Monster man. Oh, I forgot about Cookie Monster. That's cool. I don't like him, but he's kind. I mean, he's mentally challenged, of course. That's Elmo's like, like a little baby. You pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'm sexually attracted to him. I said I I'd like I him. He talks like he's a cute little baby boy. Oh, gross. He just has a high-pitched voice. Are you saying the Bee Gees are babies? Anyways. Yes. He has a falsetto. Many great men have had falsettos. I like Big Bird like a man. <laughs> yeah. Elton John has a falsetto. I think he's quite Jeff the man. Jeff likes Big Bird because he's got a very similar nose. <laughs> Jeff no. does have quite the nose. Actually, Gonzo, I think, counts. Oh, yeah, Gonzo. No, well, Gonzo's, Gonzo's Muppets. Well, the Mu- they're all made by Jim Henson. Wait, so can I say a Muppet then? I mean, technically, Kermit. Yeah, Kermit is on Sesame Street. Yeah. Oh, well, then. Oh, well, sorry, Elmo. No way, then. Oh, it's got to be Kermit's great. Kermit's an amazing character. Uh, He's their leader. Kermit's a, one of the greatest characters of all time. The Muppets movie is one of the greatest movies Big of all Bird time. Big Bird was in the Muppets movie, remember? He, he was, was in the Muppets movie. That's okay. true, yeah. So we're crushing all... All right, now he's on Kermit. Kermit, Kermit. Right. Oh, Kermit's You've great. You've gained my respect. Rainbow <laughs> Connection. A, I finally gained your respect. <laughs> In the second to last, third to last question. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow, okay. Two more two bullets more. from Sheen's chamber. Two it's more. only a two more. All right. Uh, <laughs> what was that? I don't know. This requires another uh, little imagination. Imagination station. Yep. Choo-choo. Choo-choo, we're going back. Uh-huh. A child's got a gun on you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, a child. A child. You mean a child's got a gun on An you? An eight-year-old's pointing a gun right at you. He's got oh, a gun man. on you. He's okay. got a gun on you, All right. Jeff. right. How do you talk him down? Is it my child? No, it's a random child. And I'm, where am I? Where the are streets. we? You're on the street. And the kid's just Pops like, out on the sidewalk, points night, a gun at, at your night. chest. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. Broad daylight. Are there this other kid people was, around? This kid was running drugs probably for the local gang. Who knows? We don't know anything. We don't know We're anything. not making assumptions We're on not, the child. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, he's, gonna, he's not going to pull the trigger, so I just... Hit it out of his hands. Whoa! Oh, my, my God. God. This must be one of those four days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I feel like a man. I'm not afraid. I'm it's not afraid. just smacks a gun out of a child's hand. You think hand. a child's going to pull a trigger on me? One just did a little bit ago on a teacher. Yeah. One. One out of 350 million Americans. Yeah. I ain't worried. Anecdotes don't scare me. Really? Come on. I go. What about that kid? I go that- back. Out of his hands. What about that kid that shot Jesse's dude in Breaking Bad? Never seen the show. I believe it happened, though. Wow. Never so if a, kid, a child pulls a gun on you, you're just smacking it out of their hand. If they're eight years old, yeah. a 15-year-old, I'd be scared. 12-year-old, maybe scared still. Eight, eight. they're too young. They're not going to pull the trigger. Wow, you risky man. They're not going to pull the trigger. Gun's Sorry. got a hair trigger on it, too. Yeah. I didn't add that. <laughs> you might yeah. be dead. Uh, <laughs> Oh, now you're adding these little, yeah. oh, by the way, it's a bazooka. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, then maybe I'll run. I mean, this one, I got to I gotta X this Also, one. I think I could run. I think I could outrun him. Yeah. Was, yeah. He, was he trying to rob me? Or yeah. is he just saying, I'm going to kill you? Yeah, he just does that. Oh, uh, then I'm not worried. Wow. If he's going to rob me, I'll give him the money. Sure, whatever. Got this one wrong, Jeff. I, I think sorry. most people are too afraid. <laughs> Yeah, he answered all of them right up until now. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Most people are afraid to pull the trigger, especially an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, it's sad. Is he, it a boy or a girl? It's a eight-year-old boy. Okay, yes. Too afraid. <laughs> Got it wrong. You want to know the right answer? <laughs> what is this it? This is how you talk him down. Oh, yeah. I'd love this. You go, you go, you go. I got your nose. <laughs> Got your gun. And if you want it back, you got to put the gun down. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Every kid wants their oh, nose back. Oh, I'll tell them I have a couple Minecraft tokens for them. Mm. Yeah, I got a new Minecraft suit for them, a skin for them. Yeah, yeah, you would have uh, a skin, you psycho. Yeah. <laughs> Skins in his basement. Mm. Anyways, final question, Jeff. Are you ready? Oh, he's closing the notebook. Final he's not even write down question. For this one. This we is all the last know. question of the day. Yeah. This notebook. Oh, I thought that was oh dollar seventy. I thought it was seventeen dollars on the back. Like I was like, weird. Jeff is buying a seventeen dollar no. notebook. Final question. How you always taking this seriously? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People want to know. Everybody, let's ask them. Oh. What comedian got you into comedy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my. Who are your, who are oh, your guys? Oh, my God. He gets serious <laughs> bullshit at the end. <laughs> what on. comedian got you into comedy? I mean, really guys? curious. Really curious why you got into it, man. <laughs> Who's your inspiration? I bet he was a Hedberg guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
Hedberg or local hero in Madison, Brian Morris. Wow. He's actually why I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I went to the open him? mics and I was like, oh, he, I want to be him one day. Oh, I thought you were like, well, that looks pretty easy. This no, guy. he was great. I don't know if he does comedy anymore, but I, I respect him. Brian still. Morris. Brian Morris. All you right. guys might have met him. I liked him. He's a great guy. Mitch Hedberg, though, in terms of famous comedians, absolutely. Minnesota legend, where I'm yeah. from. And, Got her. and he's buried at the same cemetery my church is at. Nick Swardson, Nick Swardson, legend. Minnesota legend. Maria Bamford, Jackie mm-hmm. Cation, Chad Daniels. Yep. So you just stick to the regional people. Uh, right? Mary Minnesota. Mack. Mary Mack, great. Tim Harmston. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Great job. You answered all the questions. Now we got to give you a score at the oh, end. Oh, score them uh, up. How do we'll you how do you tabulate this score? He's okay. you got you got a bunch of check marks. That yeah, you got a bunch good. of checks. You missed one. What about this? Which which one did I get wrong? I got the bald man one wrong. Oh no, you got that one right here. Oh, these okay. are all good. These this are good. one's good too. Yeah, these are all good. You only missed the child gun one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so well, honestly, I did pretty well. Yeah, that's you like did a ninety five percent. Yeah, we're going to give you a solid 8 and a 5, 8.5 How is that 8.5 out of 10? <laughs> How is one question out of 20 wrong an 8.5? That's just the score. You got That's an 8.5. Just, you're, you're weighing that one that much more, even though it was a bullshit <laughs> what hypothetical? The God, hypothetical dude. one, but I yeah. got Are You Afraid of Death, right? Yeah, yeah, you did a good job, though. I don't know if it makes any sense. Eight. Make it make sense, America. <laughs> 8.5 out of 10, makes... I think, is a good score. Congratulations. Right, I'll take that. Yeah, My congrats. parents wouldn't have been happy with a B, but I guess this is the boy they got. Congratulations, Jeff. All right, well, that's been the podcast. This has been uh, huh. Questions huh. with Jeff and I should get one. Jim. I should get one question as a retort. Should we get to? Well, you could plug something. Oh, well, I want to. Yeah. Oh, I'll be, oh, I'll be plugging. Mm-hmm. I, I guess should get a retort question. All right, fine. Give us one to 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 All Jeff right, Sheen. Retort, a retort, retort to retort. Jeff Sheen. Let's okay, hear it. okay. What comedian got you into comedy? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was a Mitch Hedberg guy. Uh, yeah, who were you? Dane Cook. Oh, oh really? Yeah. He was good. He was funny. Christ with checks. The, with yeah. the pickles and the pickles. Oh, man. The car alarm bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Dane Cook was, was good. good. Yep. Can't deny that. Cannot deny Dude, that. Dude, when he was on Premium Blend and he ran across the stage and did a full-on fucking... Double like flying kick. You remember oh, that? I don't oh, remember yeah. That. And then he did a velociraptor at some point. Oh, Talking man. about black guys fighting white guys. Oh man, I bet he was having a lot of fun back in the yeah, day. Yeah, he did it all. He was partying. Yeah, Good he was him. a killer. Now he's still dating an eighteen-year-old. Respect. Let's go. Respect on his name. Good for him. Yeah. Wow. All right. What are your plugs? Yeah, Jeffrey? let me you know, let me plug. You're gonna wanna. <laughs> You're gonna want. You're gonna want to follow me on Instagram, King of Instagram. They call me Jeffrey ATM, G E O F F R E Y ATM. Jeffrey asked to mouth. When is this coming out? <laughs> My lord, Friday. <laughs> this is coming out this Friday. This Friday. Oh come on, people! I'm gonna be in Fargo and Houston and Cincy coming up. Wow. Buy some tickets at WhiteComedian.com. That is my URL. I pay 50 bucks a year for it. Whitecomedian.com. Yeah. Best thing I've ever done. Get him some of that money so he can finally be happy. Give me yeah. some money. I'm at about 30K a year and hoping to get to 40 this year. 30? That's pretty good. A 30K? Not bad. 40 would be blessed. That'd be would blessed. Would be blessed. Check Maybe out. I will have less than four roommates by the end of the year. Check out my comedy special at Tim McLaughlin on YouTube. Just came out. Just came yep. out and hot underscore comic 16. Is it called Tim McLaughlin on YouTube? It was Tim McLaughlin is my yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sure. Nice. And follow me at New York Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, New right. York Jeffrey and catch him on the new Carnival Cruise Line <laughs> through the Persian Gulf. That's <laughs> right. They got a new line. Jeff, do you have a catchphrase for your goodbye? That's it. <laughs> oh yikes yikes cut 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 that's all folks